All right, guys, um, allow me comments, okay? So this is where we stopped last time. So we want to continue with uh, the next statement. Okay, I hope we uh, don't have any questions on this. Okay, the next statement is supposed to be, Uh, statement of valuations. Okay, so let me just bring it the way it is. Okay, this is it because these figures are not there. Okay. Allow me to rearrange since we have so many materials here. Let me arrange. I'll put the work in the other side. So I have materials here. Materials, and I have labor. And I have the factory over here. Okay. Then um, I have, um, okay, let me say cost per unit. It. Then I'll have work in progress here. I'll need quantities as well. So I'll have work in progress and I have quantities so that you see where they're coming from. I have quantities and I'll have the amount. Then I'll finish goods. Guys, please uh, mute. Eh? Is mute, which goods or complete. We have quantity, then you have the amount. Okay. So the issue of a uh, statement. Okay, whoever has her or, or his video on, kindly remove it. Okay, so I was saying, okay, where was my question? Yeah, this is our information. And so far, we have covered till this part. Okay. And as you as you will see, you don't have to go the information again. Every statement is it something else. Okay. Whoever has his or her video on, please remove it. Eh? Okay. So here we have um, the CPU. We already determined the CPU. Let's say that the material clearly from here it is 47. For labor. Just from here, it is 23. Then for factory overheads, it is seven. Okay. Just from the statement above. Quantities. Quantities. Once you hear quantities, you're talking about statement of equivalence. Okay. Units, quantities. So you go to your statement of um, this is work in progress. Okay. So you go to your statement of equivalence, work in progress. Uh, materials, you're saying it was 7,200. So you bring it here, right? For labor, work in progress, it is 5,600. For factory overheads, it is 2,800. As easy as that. How do you value? It's the same as CPU times the quantity. So it's as, as easy as saying equals to 47 for materials times 7,200. And you do the same for the rest. All right. I hope we're following and uh, we are clicking. Right. So, of course, you get the totals if you want. Right. So, this is the total value of work in progress. This one here. It's the total value. That's how we do value. Okay. Let's go to finish goods. Finish goods, you're saying uh, for, for materials, it is 12,000. Okay. For labor, it is still 12,000. For factory, it is still 12,000. Okay. Those are units. The amount, these units are valued at the CPU. Okay. Hence, the 47 for material times the 12,000. Okay. Then you do the same for the rest. Okay, for labor it is 23 times the 12,000. Okay, as easy as that, you guys. All right. Okay. 
So this is how you write the statement. Uh, some, some books have it separate, that you have a statement of work in progress alone, and then statement of uh, finished goods alone. Uh, valuation, okay, what is valuation by the way? I forgot to add that word, finished goods valuation. It's supposed to be valuation, the value of the finished goods valuation. Okay. I respond to your chats so far. Someone saying, uh, I'm wondering, uh, yeah, so say, cool. Oh, I start now, I don't know from where, okay? So kindly clarify. Uh, man, where did you learn these things? <laughs> Ah, uh, guys, are you really going to ask me that? Eh? Davison, really now? Hmm? I hope we are understanding. Keyword is understanding, guys. Yes. not about how doing it. Okay, it is easy once you learn it. Hmm? So, guys, I hope we are to get to this part so far. Hmm? So, I need to make this recording just in case somebody didn't understand and you can refer to it again. That's why it's important for me to record this. Right. Otherwise, we are going to the next thing, which is basically the last part. You make the statement, sorry, the account, process account. Let me pick one from this side. Okay, let's take this one. Okay, so I'm just going to fill in and see how it feels like, what it looks like. So this is my process account, it's a T account. So I'm saying I have transfer from the previous, then I have materials. In this case, I don't have a normal gain because I didn't have anything like normal loss. Eh? So we fill in the information, isn't it? Uh, but no. <laughs> uh, guys, guys, man. Eh? Can we, can we continue? Eh? Can we continue, please? Eh? Don't joke about this thing. Don't be... Don't make fun. Eh? So we're saying transfer from the previous. In this case, it's saying transfer from process one. Eh? Transfer from process one. So we had the units. Okay, I need to have a column for units. Okay, so we have quantities. In other words, quantities, then the amount. Inside, still have quantities the amounts okay forgive my drawing of the account okay let's proceed so we're just now filling in the, the hardest part is it's not even hard once you practice a little more you're going to see that it's easy okay guys guys comments aside eh? comments aside let's come back so uh, for transfer, okay, we saw from our information, if I'm just taking back the information, yeah, a transfer from process one, we had 2,000 units, and they were valued at 160,000, 1.6, okay? And I was telling you that this value here is not carried forward. For the reason I've explained, if you don't remember the reason, feel free to ask again. Okay, but we don't bring that amount forward. What we bring is the quantity, which is 20,000. Okay. The amount, like I said, we don't put anything, right? Then materials, how much do we incur in materials? So if I just bring this information the way it is, I don't just copy and paste it. So these are the costs that we incurred. Eh? So the ones we bring here, okay? You remember from our, okay, it's supposed to be under amounts. You remember from our the first discussion we had as far as the process account is concerned it's playing in here okay so these are your amounts okay uh you can get the totals there's nothing wrong with that okay get the totals. all right it's 1.4 then we come to our work in progress oh and finished goods also Start. Okay, so these ones here come from step two that we did. This one here, valuation of work in progress and finished goods. Can I respond to your chats and see? Uh, have you not put the one point in? Okay, for those who point in, okay. 
I say it, the amount that comes with the units that we get from the previous process is not included in our process accounting or the process account for the next stage. And the reason is that this, although this is a, a different account, we are saying it's the same company that is paying the same money. Okay. So this value here of uh, 1.6 didn't just come like that. It came after uh, valuing for all costs and then deducting any losses that we incurred in there to come up with the value therefore of the actual uh, units that we produced. So that amount was spent therefore in process one. We don't bring it to process two. Shakira, I hope I've answered you. Okay, so I say this to 20 units, the average at 1.6, yes. But the amount was paid in the previous thing, it was incurred in the previous process. So for this process, we're interested in how much we're spending on this process. Okay, and here I look at many like costs really. All right, Shakira, feel free to ask again if you need to understand or if you have skipped something. Let's go to the units. The finished units or the finished goods, remember the 12,000. Okay, if you don't remember, I can take you to our equivalent here. Our output, finished goods were 12,000, work in progress were 8,000. These are the units we're talking about here. Okay. If uh, this is a challenge, you can still come here and say 20,000 were brought in as input, but we had a work in progress of 8,000. So for the units to balance, it means that what was actually complete was the balance, which is the 12,000. Okay, uh, I hope I've answered you, Shakira. Shakira was asking that. Okay, for the units. So we're saying work in progress is 8,000. Okay, so automatically, as you can see, the quantity column is the first thing that the balance is. But you have 20,000 this side, and you have 20,000 this side. Remember, we didn't have anything like normal loss. Okay, so meaning that our units must be the same as we put in, so they support to get. So she's using, uh, right? So the amount, finished goods. Finished goods are saying, we already valued. We had our value as 916. I can take you there, just small, small, for you to be sure. This, this statement here, statement of uh, work in progress valuation, keyword is valuation and finished goods valuation. It's the value of the finished goods. Okay. So then for work in progress, it was 4.8. Okay. So when I add those, the amounts that are four, I should have 1.4, which is the same as this side. And you're done with work in progress. Pardon on the statement of valuation. All right. Okay. The statement of valuation, you're trying to value your work in progress units. The units in work in progress are 8,000, but you're trying to give a value to them. And the way we give the value to them is not just out of the blue, okay? It carries from the previous statements that have been preparing all along. And I remember telling you that the CPU, the cost per unit huh, materials was computed as 47. The one of labor was 23. The one of overheads was seven. I just show you where it's coming from here. Statement of cost per unit. Okay. So everything buys into another. You won't understand this the next step if you didn't understand the first one. Okay. Then after knowing that this, this is the cost per unit, now we are asking ourselves work in progress. What was the number of units for materials? Okay. And I'm saying these units come from the statement one, which is statement of equivalence. If we go there, I'm going to have for materials, which is 7.2. I'll go to my work, uh, to my equivalence, and I look for work in progress, specifically under materials. Okay, and as you can see, it is 7.2. And you know how it came about, right? Then for labor, it is 5.6. For uh, factory, it is 2.8. So this is where it's coming from, statement of valuation. These values, they come from statement of equivalence. Then you attach the amount, which is as is as getting the quantity times 
cost per unit. You have them clear. All right, so this is the value of work in progress. For finished goods, the quantities were different. Okay, it was 12,000 all through. And we're saying, but uh, the cost per unit is 47 for material. So 47 times 12,000, you get this, all right? Then for labor, same story. At the end, you add, okay? So these values are, is the value of the units that were finished or that were completely worked upon. What you call the value of finished goods. For this 483692, uh, it is the value of the work in progress, okay? The units that were incomplete, that were not uh, processed wholly or completely. So that's how we prepare the statements, you guys. Unless you have any questions. Um, I don't know what I should teach you opening inventory right now. This is my suggestion. Kindly practice numbers on closing inventory. Then when we meet again, we shall discuss this complete question, including the opening inventory. That will be either one day to the exam or the second last day to the exam. That's when we shall discuss this number again. On a condition, of course, that you have practiced this, this particular one. Otherwise, if I find I didn't practice, then there's no need for me to repeat it. Otherwise, because you will not really click from the other side. Okay, so we're going to do FM since we're supposed to do FM on Monday. Okay, so allow me 